Uh, before I make any statements, the family representative, Ms. Kathy Herrera, has a, a predetermined statement that she has. She will not be answering any questions. Uh, I appreciate it to give your attention to her. This is from the family. We cannot find the words to express our gratitude to those that have brought food, sent cards, called, donated money, or offered prayers, and to the schools for the use of their buses that have transported for the searches, as well as the fire departments that have provided use of their facilities, equipment, and their trained volunteers, to the volunteers that have manned stations to provide food and shelter for the searchers, and to the employers that have allowed employees time from work to volunteer. Those men and women that have actually done the searching have been tireless. It is unbelievable to us that volunteers have come from states as far away as Texas. We know how hard everyone has been working wanting to bring our precious little boys, and we thank you. Last but most importantly, a special thank you to all of the law enforcement agencies that have given more than 100 percent in their efforts to reunite our family. They have given of themselves diligently, going without sleep, and being away from their own families. We support their decision to stop the organized search for the weekend to give volunteers the time to recuperate as well as time to spend with their own families. It will give the police a chance to reflect and refocus and decide what the next steps will be for everyone. We would not want a tragedy because volunteers are too tired. So please take this time and relax. The media has been great about getting the word out to everyone that our boys are missing, which is appreciated. We hope that the media will respect the family's desire for privacy at this time. The focus should be on the safe return of our boys, not on us. Everyone that has a child should understand what we are experiencing. There will be no more interviews by family members or myself until further notice. Thanks again, and God bless all of you. From an, an investigative standpoint, uh, things continue as they are. We, we continue to search areas of interest. Uh, they're uh, based on the information we, we have. We're uh, initiating a concerted effort to search uh, some areas in Williams County this morning with a number of the resources that we still have here available. Uh, I think it's important to clarify when uh, Mrs. Herrera says organized searches, uh, what I'm talking about there is the volunteers. Uh, we have a number of public safety acts, uh, assets at our disposal here, including local fire departments, uh, regional assets uh, beyond the volunteers that we can implement at a moment's notice to execute searches if, searches if necessary. But at this point, as, uh, as, as I've said before, we genuinely and sincerely appreciate all the efforts from all over the United States that have been implemented here to help us. But uh, we do have the regional assets to apply in the event that we have a lead or a tip that we need to follow up on in an area that we are going to search, and we will continue in that direction. Now, if the circumstances should change as this remains a fluid situation, that call may go out again. But at this point, uh, we are satisfied with the resources we have on the ground here now. Uh, we have had no further contact in anticipation of your question with John. Uh, uh, he has asked for a lawyer, so we are not having any uh, communication with him. I think it would be fair to say that based on the information we've gathered up to this point that uh, we can continue to be hopeful that uh, he will share with us the location of Andrew, Alexander, and Tanner, and we can move forward to a, a resolution to this situation. Uh, from a personal standpoint, uh, as I've said yesterday, uh, or maybe I didn't, uh, is my intention for this to be the last scheduled press conference. And uh, I had the opportunity to meet each of these boys personally. And one thing that sticks in my mind is I was at their house on one occasion, and Andrew had came out, and he saw me, and he says, Hey, Chief, how you doing? I said, I'm good. How are you? And for just a minute, he ran back into the house, and he came back out and he had one of these uh, toy uh, police vests and caps. He said to me, he says, I'm going to be a police officer like you someday. And uh, that's been with me every day since. And uh, I can assure you, 
I won't forget it, and we'll stick to this until we get it resolved. So, uh, on behalf of the city, I have uh, our mayor here, uh, Keith Pennington. Uh, I believe he has a prepared statement. He may be asking some questions. But before I turn over to him, I will take just a couple questions. On, on John Skelton, and I understood what you just said, but just for clarification, has there been any effort by your, your <clears throat> lo local or FBI to bring his mother, maybe from Jacksonville, to bring anyone here or to him to appeal to him? He's obviously still the key. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, we have had uh, agents from Florida contact family members down there and interview them. We've had contact with family members uh, here locally. Uh, family members have appealed to make that request. Uh, those are being evaluated on an individual basis, and if that becomes necessary, we'll, we'll certainly consider implementing that plan. But we're, we're confident in the direction we're going, and uh, if we need to call them in, we will. Chief, Can you given tell us the 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 dive given, team is given where William things County? stand, given where things stand right now, is it safe to call this, unfortunately, a stalemate, and if that's the case, what are your thoughts about that? Uh, you know, that word has not been used, but I can see where that would come in place. Uh, certainly at this point, the information we continue to receive into our command post and the tip line has uh, begun to uh, uh, not be as, as frequent, not getting as many calls as we were initially. But as I've said all along, I, I'm not giving up. I'm, I don't believe it's a stalemate. We'll continue to press ahead. Whatever obstacles in our way, we'll use whatever legal means necessary to move through them or around them and continue on. Go ahead with your Can question. Can you tell us if the Toledo Dive Team is working in Williams County somewhere? Uh, yes, they are working in, these, in areas today. Uh, as, a, as I've said all along, it's not our intention to uh, leave any stone unturned, any area in which he potentially had traveled to or been through. Uh, we want to thoroughly and as best we can eliminate any possible uh, areas in which they've been. One more question, please. No, ma'am. There, at this point, we have no information of an accomplice, no evidence to indicate that whatsoever. Uh, at this time, I will uh, introduce my mayor, Keith Pennington, to make some statements on behalf of the city. If there be any additional information, it will be emailed out, or you'll be contacted or notified in the event of an additional uh, press conference. Thank you. Can you tell us where in Williams County, Chief? Good morning. My name is Keith Pennington. My name is Keith Pennington, an elected mayor of the city of Marinci. Could you spell your last name and speak up for the mayor? I can't pull this up any higher. No, but, you uh, have to speak up. Pennington is P E N N I N G T O N. Keith, K E I T H. Uh, my remarks today will consist of some community announcements first, followed by a prepared statement. And then some questions. Uh, in the housekeeping area, uh, our annual Christmas parade is canceled for Saturday. Uh, if an alternate date is picked out, we will get that word out as soon as we can. City Hall remains closed the rest of this week to the public for all but emergency use. We plan to reopen City Hall for public use on Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. Also, our recycling center is closed this week. Uh, our hospice tree lighting ceremony will continue on Sunday at 6 o'clock at the library, followed by service and reception at the Renzi <coughs> Bible Fellowship Church. When the, uh, when the boys turned up missing last week, Marenzi was thrust into the national spotlight in a way that very few cities of 2,000 people uh, have ever experienced. And we certainly do not welcome the circumstance of this spotlight, but I am very proud uh, of the response that the community has given uh, in this situation. We have seen our police and fire chiefs stand strongly under the uh, extreme weight, the burden of the investigations and, and uh, helping everyone to get through this. I can't say uh, the totality of my appreciation, Larry. 
and that goes to our fire chief Schistler as well. Uh, these guys have done a tremendous job along with their staff and the city hall staff. Everyone has been exemplary. Thank you. Thank you. We are not satisfied with the outcome. And uh, we will not be satisfied until the boys are home. Uh, but I do know that our community wishes to say thank you uh, to all uh, that have helped us in this time. We've been very humbled in this tragedy. Uh, we soon realized we are unable to handle this on our own. We are unable to fix it. And uh, we reached out, and others have reached out to us. Early, uh, early one night, I saw a list of uh, over 20 organizations uh, that had come forward already early in the investigation, 20 organizations and teams from outside our community. Uh, reading down that list, uh, it brought tears to my eyes to think that people cared about us that much. And as we move forward, that list, that list has tripled probably, right? Uh, we can't begin to name uh, all the organizations and teams and agencies that have come to help. And though woefully inadequate, uh, we say thanks. That's all we have to offer you is our thanks. <clears throat> Incredibly, the volunteers that have showed up each day have increased in number. I was quite sure that with the weariness of our workers, searchers, and the, and the nasty weather that returned yesterday, <coughs> that our numbers would be down significantly. But yet, uh, by my estimation and uh, from what I've been able to gather, uh, these we might have had 400 searchers yesterday. And uh, I, thank, I thank each one of them. These, uh, these volunteers do not all live in Morency. Many of them come from our surrounding townships, our surrounding communities, but uh, what they have done, what they have shown us, whether they're tramping through the mud or serving sloppy joes, they, they are our neighbors in the truest sense of the word, and uh, I thank them for everything that they've done. And uh, lastly, I know our community uh, wants to reach out to the family. And uh, fortunately, we really do not know what they're feeling because not many can say they've lost a son. And uh, I'm glad that none of, not very many of us can say that. But I do have a friend uh, that did lose a son and lost him tragically, and uh, lost that son on a cross. And uh, that friend knows what you're going through. That friend uh, can be a help where our words fall short. And I pray that you will allow him to give comfort or we cannot. I will take uh, a few questions today, and uh, rather than all shouting out to where I can't really hear, let's just start over here, and I'll kind of come around. Mr. Mayor, if you could say something to John Skelton, what would it be? To John, if you know where they're at, please tell us. Anyone else? Any questions?
Yes, ma'am. There's been talk of dedicating the decorations and the lighting at the park to the boys. Do you know if that's clear? I've not heard of those plans. services of recycling and closing City Hall because so many of your people are involved in the search, is that correct? Primarily the closing of City Hall took place because of the need for the space for the command center <coughs> and the dedication of City Hall's staff to assisting in the investigation. Uh, the recycling center is located right outside this parking lot and uh, logistically it would be tough. Well, this is the first time then that in how many years since it's city's been established. I will assume it's the first time this has ever happened. Closing the city hall? I, to my knowledge, but I... How many years has the city been established? I can't tell you that either. I mean, decades. Is the command post being relocated or is it being downsized? The, uh, the front offices, the, the public generally uh, would would frequent are being freed up uh, so that we can use them. There's something over here. Do you think Skelton knows where they are? I do not know. I do not know. Do you, do you think the kids are alive? I certainly hope so. Until I see evidence to the contrary, we'll continue to work toward that end. How is this impacting the Pardon me? How is this, all this impacting the the, uh, the police department, uh, I have, have come in and worked so they cannot work anymore, both on the clock and off the clock. And uh, they are invested very deeply in this, as we all are. Do you have any idea what kind of cost this has to the city? No, I do not. I think, I think I'll take one more question. How many full-timers on the police department? Can you answer that? We have three full-time law enforcement officers. That includes myself and five part-time employees. Thank you very much.